Brownian motion in liquids. Demonstration of the Brownian motion. Apparatus. Beaker, hand lens, chalk dust, transparent lid. Procedure. Pour water into the beaker about full as shown. Sprinkle pollen grains or chalk dust on the surface of water, particles should be small in size, light, and sprinkled evenly. Cover the beaker with a transparent lid and with the help of a hand lens observes what happens to pollen grains or chalk dust. Observation The pollen grains or chalk dust is in constant random motion. Conclusion The particles are hit continually by the movement of small invisible particles of water. The movement is random, suggesting that the particles of water are in constant random movement. This kind of movement is called Brownian motion a tribute to a scientist Robert Brown who first observed the effect. Brownian motion in gases. The smoke cell experiment. Demonstration of the Brownian motion in air. Apparatus. Drinking straw, smoke cell, microscope, and a bright light source. In this case, one end of the straw is burnt and let the smoke from the other end of the straw into the smoke cell as shown above. The smoke is then covered using a transparent glass lid. The smoke cell is covered to seal the content of the smoke cell. This ensures that the smoke molecules do not escape from the smoke cell. The lid is transparent to allow for easy visible of the smoke cell. The cell is illuminate with bright light. Therefore, the work of lamp in this case is to provide light which illuminates the content of the smoke cell. A hand lens is used to focus the light on the smoke particles in the smoke cell. The microscope is adjusted until bright specks are seen against the gray background. The work of the microscope is therefore to enlarge or magnify the smoke particles in the smoke cell for easy visibility. Observation In this experiment, the smoke particles, which are seen as bright specks, are seen moving in continuous random motion. Explanation the smoke particles appear as bright specks since they scatter the light shining on them and appear as bright points. They move about in a continuous random movement because of uneven bombardment by the invisible particles or molecules in air. This suggests that air is made up of small particles which are in constant motion. When this experiment is repeated at a higher temperature, the smoke particles move faster in a continuous random manner. This is due to increased kinetic energies of the molecules. The opposite is true when the temperature of the content is reduced. Conclusion From the experiments above, matter is made up of very small particles which are in constant random motion. This is called kinetic theory of matter. <laughs>